Hey everybody, Massachusetts Prepper here. Today, we've got the brand new Fitbit Ionic, and we're gonna tell you all about it. Right now, we're gonna unbox this and show you what you get in the box. We also have the Fitbit Flyer, and we'll be reviewing that a little bit later on. Let's get into the box. Okay, let's see what all we get in the box. I notice that we do get a small and large size band in the box. I've already pre-cut this. Nice packaging, nice and sturdy. We get the Fitbit Ionic. We get the little you know, instruction manuals and everything that comes inside. And in here, we get the charger and the small band. Now, I did get the burnt orange and slate blue band. But let's get into what everybody's here to see. And that is the Ionic itself. Okay. Right now, I'm going to throw this on the charger real quick and bring y'all back, and we're going to look at some of the features of the Fitbit Ionic. Okay, everybody, now that the Fitbit Ionic is all charged up, let's take a look at this device. We have the, the rubber band, which, you know, is quite pliable and flexible. The housing is made out of aluminum. We have one button on the left, two buttons on the right, we also have a pin and buckle set up as well as the clasp. Now this is a very good feature, I think, because not only does it let you attach, you know, with the buckle, but it also lets you attach with the clasp. Now in the past, they've just had this little clasp here. And if you snagged it on something and it popped off, you would lose your device. Now you got the buckle, so you still have a secure fit. The other thing that I see that I like is even though this resembles the Fitbit Blaze, you no longer have that center module that you had to pop out, stick into another cradle to charge it. This here, charging is done through a three pin connector right here on the back. And that just simply connects with a magnetic connection to charge your device. The fit and finish looks really nice. I like the burnt orange with the slate blue band. Looks quite nice. You also have the little Fitbit logo on the clasp connection there. The watch face that I currently have set up has the time, steps, heart rate, calories, stairs, and active minutes along with the date. You can just push the button on the left hand side to get this to pop up or just by rolling your wrist it will come up and I believe if you tap the display it comes up as well. Once you're here scrolling to the right brings you to the um, the wake up screen settings so you can set it for auto and manual notifications that you receive from your phone can be set to on and off. You also have your battery percentage there. Go back to the right, scrolling back to the left rather, you come up with Fitbit today, music, exercise, coach, relax, wallet, alarms, and timers, your settings, weather, Pandora, Strava, and Starbucks. With these, like weather, you just tap it and it takes just a second, but it pulls up your local weather, you know, from where you're at. Push the left hand button and you go back to the screen. In your settings, there's not a whole lot you can do. You have your brightness, vibrations, heart rate, notifications, Bluetooth, connect to headphones, and about. Okay, so that's pretty much all you have in your settings. I was a little bit disappointed in the music. When you hit the music, 
it tells you transfer music. Okay, but it says no music loaded. Use your Fitbit desktop app to transfer music to Ionic. Now, I thought I was going to be able to just use my phone since it has the Fitbit app on it. And I would be able to click transfer. It would connect. And it's telling me that it's connecting. And we're just going to let it do its thing here for a second. Ready to transfer. Ready to transfer. Use your computer to start transferring music. You have to connect it to your computer. I can't do it from my phone, which was a little bit disappointing. If there is a way to do it from my phone, I didn't see it in the Fitbit app anywhere. So, uh, you know, didn't get there. Now from this screen, if you're on this screen, you can go back there, but you push the button, it does nothing. If you push and hold, it brings you, and that's the bottom right hand button, it brings you to your notifications in time. Okay, push and hold again and you go back or you can hit the back button. Now, if you're on this screen and you push the button, it brings you right into your fitness part of it where you can do run, bike, swim, treadmill, weights, interval timer, and workout. Okay. Scroll down and it brings you to your music device. And as it says, no input device found. So my phone is not connected to it. Um, as far as my music player, scroll up and you go into your notifications. Now, let me just briefly go over some of the features that I did not cover there. Track activity, steps, distance, calories burned, active minutes, heart rate at rest and active, and previous night's sleep. So you can monitor your sleep as well. As I said, you can change all your clock faces. There's, you know, half a dozen of them that you can change. So you, if you don't like the style of one, you can pull in another one. And that can all be done from your Fitbit app on your phone. Okay, I'm sure it can be done from your desktop as well. Notifications with a glance. You can see if you got calls, calendar, events, text, alerts for emails and apps. Optimize your workouts, built-in GPS, see pace, distance, routes during runs and rides, no phone needed. So it is a standalone device um, as far as that goes. Sports mode, use workout modes to see real-time stats on display. It also has smart track, automatically record runs, walks, elliptical, and other workouts. Swimming, you can track your duration, laps, and distance of your swim. You can listen to your music phone free. You can sync your favorite songs to Ionic. Listen with Bluetooth headphones. You can use Pandora in the US only to sync your stations for offline listening. Okay. So only in the United States can you use the offline listening. Your music will refresh anytime Ionic is charging. Your personal music, you can sync up to 300 plus songs from your own collection. You can enjoy popular apps like Weather, Pandora, Starbucks, you know, and a few others. And hopefully Fitbit will add some more apps um, as time goes on. You can pay from your wrist. You can leave your wallet at home and pay with Fitbit Pay. No one sees your card number and your bank still protects you with identity theft and all that good stuff. You can add your car, your credit cards and your bank cards to your Ionic to make that happen. Fitbit Pay works anywhere that accepts contactless payments. Tap and pay, hold your watch next to a terminal, get confirmation, and you're off and running. So there you have it, guys. This is just a brief rundown of the Fitbit Ionic with a short unboxing. As I use this device, I will bring you more information about it and let you know what I think about, you know, the device itself. Um, the Quick Connects, I like those. I'm just concerned that this part right here where the band connects to this little plastic piece that snaps into the housing of the fitness tracker, I'm afraid the band is going to pull away from that 
as it has done with every Fitbit that has been made with this type of band and the plastic or the rubber part connected to either plastic or metal. So I'm afraid it's gonna pull apart just like all the rest. Only time will tell, but I do like the changeability of the bands. I'm sure there'll be a lot of third party bands coming out real soon. I like the looks of this fitness tracker. Um, you know, it's very intuitive, responds quite well to touch, you know, and swiping. So with all that being said, Will you survive whatever comes your way? I sure hope so. This is the Massachusetts Prepper saying, take care all.